This video was sponsored by Enhance, Elbil Mac, a better road planner, Camp Power, and Bill Component. <laughs> Yo, what's up? How it's going? I thought I uh, owe you some update on Mercedes um, EQC battery. Uh, I got a friendly uh, um, message from uh, EV Clinic, from, from Vanya from EV Clinic to help uh, sort out the uh, uh, Mercedes EQC uh, battery problem. And this was a really good inspiration to start on it because uh, I have already ordered a uh, second-hand uh, battery, which you already got, but I thought it could be a very good opportunity to learn some new things, and maybe in the future we could uh, have, uh, maybe in the future we could help uh, another customer with the same problem. I have to tell you that this battery is really mystery, or uh, actually what happened with this is really mystery. Uh, let me take a better, better view. Uh, so as you see, uh, they use uh, quite a lot of uh, place for uh, support. They have a lot of bags to for uh, to take off the moisture of the of the battery. But this is not uh, what I wanted to talk about. It seems that. Uh, we have uh, two 600 amps fuse in the middle. Both of them are blown. Then we have uh, two contactors here and two in the back. And surprisingly, uh, three or four are, uh, um, what is called, welded, broken. Then we had uh, one fuse uh, as uh, I showed you in the previous video, which is blown. And in addition to that, uh, we have two pyro fuses, one here and one in the front, uh, which are, yeah, it was one here, which are also activated and uh, exploded. Uh, so I have a few versions what, what could happen with the battery, but it doesn't look like uh, any of them can be uh, like, uh, like a real, so, about uh, conspiracy theories, uh, I read somebody of you been commenting that uh, it might be because of a low 12 volt battery, which could uh, make a damage on the contactors uh, when it doesn't have enough power to close. Yes, this is possible, but uh, how the hell those 600 amps uh, fuse have got uh, broken? Uh, uh, one of the strongest uh, like uh, ideas from my side was that okay then it's for sure uh, rear or drive um, units are in a short circuit and they could take the contactors and uh, those big fuses. So we took down uh, a rear drive unit. So we have our Mercedes EQC mystery. Have, uh, dismantle it uh, rear uh, drive unit and to check and measure IGBTs because I got ideas from uh, previous colleagues that it might be in short circuit or broken one of them but um, not they seem to be fine we had also one uh, used one in stock uh, you know, this one had a problem over here but uh, I used this one just to um, uh, how to say to um, <laughs> what's the word some in uh, Norwegian <laughs> to uh, see the difference and in the front we have also the same uh, or very uh, like um, inverter uh, IGPTs looks to be the same so they are all seems to be okay and I cannot find short circuit anywhere uh, ouch no short circuit in uh, uh, PTC heaters or 
AC compressor or anywhere else in the high voltage system. So what the hell happened with this battery? I don't know. I talked with the owner, uh, previous owner of this car, and he says uh, he's been using this car for uh, like a very uh, long, uh, no, long trips. It was in, uh, in uh, two years he drove, how much? 200,000 almost, maybe 180,000 something. And he said, uh, like usual, after work, um, the car was fully charged. He started from work, uh, drove five meters, and I got uh, uh, yeah, different phone messages in the dashboard. And then the car was just towed to Mercedes. And I also talked with Mercedes workshop, who've been looking at this car. But uh, they couldn't say much because they didn't didn't done any like uh, deep research. All they know is like probably from um, diagnostic uh, equipment fault codes that uh, contactors fault was registered in BMS one and two, and uh, they couldn't say anything uh, about if those drive units front and or, or back was was checked or good or bad. Yeah, and a little bit about. Uh, more about the construction of this battery. We have like uh, two batteries um, connected in one. So this is, um, I cannot tell exactly, or it's like maybe split in half or split like this in half. I think it's split like this in half. It was each of part has a separate uh, BMS. Uh, one here, one here. Then you have each separate contact, contactors. Uh, both sides has uh, uh, pre-charge uh, resistors. By the way, both of them are are okay. Uh, check that. Uh, what else? Uh, yeah, uh, I have measured that the voltage on those uh, modules are are okay, like 150, 150 volt each model. Then the small ones is 100, and those uh, big ones is. 100 and one under is also 150 volt. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, that's it. I don't uh, remember if I fo forgot something or not. Yeah, it was uh, quite a challenge to open this battery because it was glued very, very well. And uh, what we managed to break uh, one uh, cooling pipe I have ordered new from uh, Mercedes and surprisingly it wasn't so expensive. I think it's 1500 uh, kroner. Yep, of course plus weighty. Yeah. This part this part is really gonna reuse it. Uh, yeah, and one other thing is like um, my colleague Rickard found out that uh, uh, those contactors uh, Mercedes used uh, them before on uh, uh, smart uh, ED batteries. Yeah. Uh, so this was uh, update number three. Uh, hopefully, it will not be uh, uh, so many updates on on this uh, project anymore. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully uh, next time uh, the car will be driving. Did I mention that I have ordered those uh, uh, fuses and uh, contactors uh, and everything is on the way and uh, hopefully after winter holiday we will put everything together and we will try to install it in the car and uh, test it. So that was it. Have a nice uh, winter holiday and um, see you in next episode. Some bonus, uh, let's say, material. My Model X uh, that I bought in 2018 has this uh, cheap version, no leather seats, uh, ordinary uh, Audi uh, uh, Audi um, equipment uh, without uh, subwoofer and uh, just a few speakers and uh, not a heating wheel. 
and no heating wipers. So I've been sitting and say maybe I can uh, dig a little bit and fix it. So over here uh, it's already covered. We have um, a fuse box for inside uh, what's it called uh, inside the equipment uh, where actually was found that um, the Tesla pre-made uh, everything. You can see the fuse from another side now here. So even the fuses are in the place. Uh, I think there is not there is not a thing but there is a relays inside already uh, what what was missing is um, uh, power supply for the heating wipers so here I made um, two cables which will go over there and we will end up uh, here from the original plugs and we'll power up uh, heating wipers and what else I had to do is to change the configuration because before there was not a button for the heating wipers and for steering wheel. Steering wheel uh, heated I also have ordered and uh, waiting for some parts. I can show you another video because there is, I don't know, clock spring I think it's called this part. It's uh, different if you have a heating wheel and uh, if you don't have a heating wheel so let me connect everything and see if it uh, will work <laughs> 